WSAV is continuing to share the stories of remarkable women from across the coastal empire and low country. Tonight, we introduce you to a woman who's dedicated her life to serving her community. WSAV's Daisy Kershaw tells us about the refuge she's created for those in need. I deliver 174 plates three days a week. Get there and go, get back. Tucked away in the city of Jessup, there's a familiar place. Oh, that cake good too. A place that welcomes everyone with open arms and a warm meal. Mm -hmm. This is Tabitha's place. It's a soup kitchen. But to many, it's home. Tabitha's place is known for a lot of things. Serving up food, providing fresh clothes, or a place to do laundry and clean off. And at the heart of it all is Janice Phillips. If we have an abundance of bread or abundance of milk that's given to us, we get what we need and then we distribute it to the other people. That's how we do. Janice took over Tabitha's place in 2006. At first, her focus was simply on making the food, but it didn't stay that way for long. One day I decided that I needed to go out there and see in the dining room, see who was coming in, and I did. And it was all over with. It became mine. And the people that come to the kitchen, from that day up until today, the people who come through my doors are my people. One of those people is Rachel Sykes. She says Janice has created a refuge for people like her, a place for a second chance. I'm 29 months uh, sober. Uh, I'm sober for the longest time I've ever been in my life. And when I got out of a uh, recovery home, I didn't have a foundation, I didn't have any resources. And really I was gonna end up sleeping in my car. And uh, I met Miss Janice and Right off the bat, she said, I, I don't have much, but you can stay here in the little cottage. Um, and she gave me a job here. I came from a hard um, background, a heavy background, and um, I was going down a, um, a bumpy road. And Miss Janice was there to help bring me um, to a new path in life. The people who know her say there aren't many people like Janice. She was nominated for Remarkable Women by her dear friend, Anita Williams, who helped run Tabitha's place by her side for years. But just a few months ago, Anita passed away. Anita used to ask me, Miss J, do you realize how much you do? And I went, I looked at her and I said, no, I really don't and I hope I never do. I, um, I never, I hope I never see what I do, but she saw what I did. And uh, her heart was in it. And I just know in heaven, she, the good Lord's told her about this. It's bittersweet, but Janice says Anita lives on in the work they do, the work she loved, and the family that's grown from this place. I'm gonna put this in there. You gonna keep it? Yeah, yeah. Yes, ma'am. I probably got a couple more plates. There's nothing more, nowhere other I'd rather be than to be right here serving the same love that, that is given to me. I feel well, I feel sober, I feel alive, I have a purpose. I have never in my life, this is the God's honest truth, I have never in my life felt like I had a purpose. Like I knew there was purpose out there for people, but I, I didn't have my own. Her encouragement and um, help for me and um, words of wisdom that I, I listen to because I trust her um, has changed my life. No matter where they're from or the struggles they've faced, the people who've made their way to Tabitha's place will never leave Janice's heart. I love all of them I tell them all the same thing and I treat them all the same way and they're my kids. Daisy Kershaw, WSAV News 3, on your side.